What's going on everyone Only Sports back with another video. In this video I'm going to be talking about the trade that the Toronto Maple Leafs just made with the Arizona Coyotes. Um, this has been a trade that's been, you know, kind of, you know, talked about, being talked about over the past couple days uh, about the Toronto Maple Leafs potentially getting Ilya Labushkin from the Coyotes um, and they definitely um, ended up, you know, doing what all the reports said that the Leafs were interested in Labushkin and, you know, they were shopping Richie. Um, that has happened as the full trade is um, the Toronto Maple Leafs is acquiring Ilya Labushkin, the defenseman, um, as well as forward Ryan Dezingle. He's a winger. Um, both those guys come from the Arizona Coyotes in exchange for forward Nick Ritchie and um, the Arizona Coyotes choice. They have a choice. So it's a conditional pick, um, but it's a choice for them. Either the Toronto Maple Leafs third round pick in 2023 or a second round pick in 2025. So it's a future um, mid round pick. Um, it'll more than likely be a second round pick, I would think. Um, you know, if I were the Coyotes, especially because the 2023 draft class is not expected to be a very, you know, terrific class. Uh, I'd probably take a second round pick in 25. But um, that being said, very interesting here. Very interesting trade. The Leafs, uh, they get a 5-6 type defenseman in Ilya Labushkin. And they get a bottom 6 forward in Ryan Dezingle. Definitely an interesting trade. Um, I think both guys can definitely come in and have an impact on the Leafs. They're, they're guys who could both come in and, and play. There's no question about it. Um, the only question is, um, w will they end up playing for the Leafs? I think they both will. Um, not sure the roles they'll play in. Um, if if I were the, the one calling the shots, um, I'd, I'd switch Labushkin. I'd put him in the lineup and take Justin Hall right out. And I'd have my top six of Brody. Um, Brody, Riley, Muzzin, Labushkin, Sandine, and Lilligren, and then have my seven and eight guys as Dermot and Hall, and then, you know, you flip one of them at the deadline. That's what I would do ultimately, and then I would keep, you know, the forward core and put Dezingle in for Pierre Engvall. I really don't like Pierre Engvall. Um, I feel like, you know, there's better options out there, but who knows? I think Dezingle will be switched in and out of the lineup. Same with Labushkin. I think the Leafs are not done. I think they're still going to make moves at the deadline. Um, I think this is just one move um, into the direction um, of the trade deadline that's still over a month away um, from now. Getting into these players' contracts very quickly, both uh, Dezingle and Labushkin are on expiring contracts. They're both uh, free agents um, at the end of the season, UFAs. Um, so they could be rentals at the end of the day, but you're not taking in a lot of salary, which is good. I, I, it's, it's a pretty damn near close, you know, to a salary match, uh, with Nick Ritchie. But the good thing is Nick Ritchie was under contract for next year over 2 million. So it's good that the Leafs kind of got Ritchie's salary out. Um, he didn't pan out the way we expected. I really liked Ritchie when we signed him. I really wanted Ritchie, and I was hoping things would pan out. I wish him nothing but the best moving forward. I think he's going to still be a good player. I just think the Leafs, you know, put him in a good spot early. He struggled, and they took him right out of it. He didn't really have a chance to, you know, you know, kind of redeem himself. So tough, tough for Nick Ritchie. You know, we obviously wanted it to pan out in Toronto. It's, you know, I mean, who doesn't, especially when you're um, a guy who's from here. Um, but ultimately, it just didn't work out for Richie. Um, and, and it's good that we were able to get his salary out because we weren't going to really be able to hold it for next year. It was going to be, um, you know, it, it was going to be tough. Um, you didn't want to have that, you know, contract that's over $2 million. Um, So it's good to get these guys. In terms of what they could do for us long term, uh, Dezingle and Labushkin, I think they could potentially be extended, no question about it. Um, I think there's a better chance Labushkin gets extended uh, than Dezingle. Um, but both of them, if we were to extend them, they'd be on cheap deals, which is good. So I think this gives you a lot of flexibility. I, I, I don't expect Justin Hall to be here next season. Um, in fact, I don't even know if he's here after the trade deadline. Same could go for Travis Dermott. It's interesting there. Um, if I had to guess, though, I think Labushkin... Um, 
I think there's a good chance he gets re-signed in the offseason. As for Dezingle, it depends on how he you know produces. It depends on how the Leafs use him down the stretch. But he's definitely been a guy who's proven um, over the course of his career that he can put up some numbers. Um, you know, he, he in 2018-19, he had 56 points in 78 games. So he obviously um, had a good season that year. In 398 career games, he has 187 points. So he's a, he's a solid player. Um, you know, so... It'll be it'll be interesting to see how the Leafs ultimately uh, use the Zingle. I definitely think he's going to see the ice. Um, same goes for Labushkin. It'll be interesting to see what they do with these guys in the off season, um, and whether that you know they made this trade to get rid of Richie's contract or they did this, uh, you know, f- for these guys to not only have an impact on this season but you know even moving forward. So it's going to be interesting to see what Kyle Dubas and Brandon Shanahan. Uh, decide to do, um, but I would definitely want these guys here beyond this season. If I'm the Leafs and I can get these guys in the off season to sign on cheap deals, like I said, I would definitely bring them back. Do, am I expecting it? No. Do I think it's a possibility? Absolutely. I think it's definitely possible. Um, but like I said, I think there's a better possibility of Labushkin being here longer term than the Zingle, but I still think both of them very well could be. Um, and at the same time, both of them may not be, um, who knows, we'll have to see, but I think these are guys are going to step in and they're going to have an impact here for the Leafs this season. I think Labushin is going to see the ice, um, you know, a pretty good amount. And I think this is one, the first of, you know, a few moves that transpire for the Leafs leading up to the trade deadline, uh, at the end of March. It'll be interesting to see what the Leafs ultimately do. I'm excited as we get closer to the trade deadline and have more Leafs content coming out as we approach that deadline. Um, but you guys let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section on this trade. Um, do you like it for the Leafs? I do. I think it's a smart move to get rid of uh, the Richie contract. costs you nothing. Uh, you know, a mid-round pick in the future with a condition. So definitely nice. Um, but you guys, like I said, please let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts on the trade. Do you think these guys will be here longer term uh, and, and beyond this year? I think it's definitely possible. Um, but you guys let me know. All that good stuff down below in the comment section. As always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys on the next video. Go Leafs, go.